What's up, Conquerors? Got a game here against uh, my friend, Mr. Symbols. So we're going to play Golden Pit. I know Mongol's not great on this map, but I don't really care. And uh, we'll see how this game goes. We'll see what Civ he plays as. Little Conquer 3 matchup. Bassett uh, Dynasty. That's going to make for an interesting game. So we'll see if this guy, I mean, I kind of assume this guy's going to go multiple town centers, but we'll see what he does. Uh, let's get everything set up here. Hope everyone's having a good day. Herding these sheep. I actually got a great starting spot out there. I'm actually going to send my con straight to his base, see what he's got. Yeah, I mean, very, very good uh, starting spot for me here, I think. It's a good omen. Or a bad omen. Good luck. Have fun. I got gold, berries, deer. Have fun. We're living life large in the Mongol Empire. Oh, a little triple sheep. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I want to explore. See his base layout. He's got berries on that back side. Yep, gold on this side. Nothing too crazy about that. His scout came around this way. It really means he's already scouted the right side, so I'm kind of in a bad spot with my scout. He's probably got all the sheep back here, so let's just head home. Drop our sheep off. Make sure we're on the right tree here, so. Start getting some gold. We'll see what wing he goes up with. I mean, that's going to be important for how I want to... How I want to play this. If I had had more sheep slash felt better, I should have just cut my scout this way. I guess I could have done that because I have berries and try to contest the sheep on the left side of the map. That probably would have been the move, but we kind of screwed that up. That's okay. So more expansion spots over here, golden food. Once I finish everything up here, I, I might honestly just want to like move my town center out here. Or just move my town center to the middle. Ooh, that's an idea I haven't tried yet. That's a good idea. Because gold, the middle control, control of the gold in the middle ends up being crucial, right? You got 8,000 total gold on the flanks. And then it's all about the middle area. So we're going to have deer stones, no trade on this map. I'm going to start getting wood, assuming that I'm going to need archers. I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, develops into a 1-1-1, one, 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 which is essentially horse archer spearmen. You know, I'm probably going to make Keshix. He's going to make spearmen. I'm going to make archers, he's going to make horsemen, and then we'll, we'll each kind of finish that up with a triple, so. That's yeah, just what I expect. I'm going to get over here, see what, uh, 
Age up, he's got going through. If, if it's military wing, it's really no big deal. My resources are secure. I can build an archery range in here and make some archers. So, he sees the stable. I mean, he might burn the stable a little bit with the military wing guys. They're not going to take it down, though, so. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, that's what he went for. He's going second town center. I mean, that's kind of the key thing I wanted to see behind this. So we'll get some archers up to deal with the military school guys. I mean, depending on where he throws his second town center, if it's vulnerable, might be able to attack his second TC. He's throwing it up on the back side. I mean, that's a pretty good spot for it. It does leave his gold open. It's just an interesting point. I mean, I'm going to have Keshex to stop him from going out and getting that gold. His gold's on the right sides, both areas. I'm going to take one villager out here and build a... Tower? Just so I can keep tabs on if he tries to sneak out to the middle gold. We're actually going to bring these archers forward. Uh, we're going to get horticulture as well. Just because we have a little extra... Uh, a little extra resources. Rotate around. See what he, if he's going on food back here. Easy hit here. So he is going into horseman. Actually, I need to get out of there. Pretty happy with the tower up right there. I can see what he's up to now. Might be time to actually start getting some, some more guys on. I mean, I've got him off his gold, right? I mean, that's uh. That's a crucial part of this. All 
I can always make sense of horsemen too. Oh, yep, yeah, he's trying to move out on berries here. Easy kill. So, yeah, I think if I just have my guys grouped up here, I can take this. So, he's obviously struggling on food right now. I'm actually going to send this Keshik to the berries on the far side. But if he's going to let us sit out here and burn his uh, stables and shit, we'll do that too. So what's he got here? He's got... I mean, I'll, I'll take this fight. Probably let him get to the gold, which was a bad choice. Picking off a lot of villagers on this wood line. Yeah, he's throwing up towers and shit now. Again, he's, he's probably beating me in Ego, but I've been able to pick off some bills. I'm keeping him in his base. Yeah, let's go get this boar, man. Yeah, I let him get on gold, which was a mistake. Not gonna continue that mistake. It's actually a very interesting combination of units. Hey, you get uh, arrow upgrades. Then I need to go up. Need to focus down these camel riders real hard. I need to build a fucking market because I have way too much gold. And 
And I need to take some of these gold guys. Oh, he destroyed my stable. Oh, that was a... That was an oversight by me. So I'm also going up uh, with step rate out here. Kill the scout. So I like to think I'm I'm wearing this guy down right now. Once these guys finish, they're gonna go out of the gold that's gonna be on the step readout. That'll be that'll be big. Even though they're they're gonna get there early, I think. Alright, need veteran archer, veteran Keshik upgrade immediately. Extra stable. Uh, I need archer armor upgrade actually. I'm gonna build a monastery. Actually, just don't have enough gold for that. Once I get this step readout rolling, though, we'll be we'll be bringing in the gold. Yeah, I mean the key thing being right now, he just dude, he's not gonna have gold on the map. He's got those two golds over there. That's gonna run out. And I can add in horsemen here. I mean, he's building cam archers, so why not? Like, he's just building a lot of cam archers. I actually throw down a third stable. Get more horsemen in here. You know what? Fourth stable. Little horsemen this guy to death. Um. Yeah, monastery's going up. Start snagging relics. It's a lot of fucking, uh. It's a lot of camel riders. But I got these towers up, so I know what he's doing. He's not gonna surprise me. Oh, yeah, he did. He's got three fucking town centers. He still has no gold. I'm gonna get siege engineering, go in on one of these town centers. Yeah, he's going much heavier into some spearmen now. Which is probably smart. Actually, if we're able to get improved siege engineering here, we can also just make some, uh... Oh, I'm gonna get Khan's Hunters, man. Forgot about those. Those are gonna give my, my range infantry a little extra range. 
Yeah, I need to get a second town center up. That's why I'm stacking so much wood here. And uh, again, improve siege engineering. Armor upgrade. There's berries over there. Double broad axe. Good attraction trebuchet. Pull a couple of these villagers. Build towers. Yeah, we're going to be cooking. We're going to be cooking. Get sacred sites. Track and trebuchet coming online. Just went to castle, so I'm pushing a fight. at a minimum off his farms I'm gonna shoot the fuck out of this sprinkle is still that we get the middle secured and I need more pastures It's not looking good here. Yeah, 
Yeah, again, he's got a lot, a lot of archers. I think I keep making horsemen here. He's only got a few ghoulums. Game is not over yet. Obviously, he's going out here to finally get his gold. game i just i mean he built three town centers obviously his eco was way bigger than mine i just thought i could keep him out of the middle and have control of the gold and win that one that just wasn't the case needed to attack earlier after i hit castle why i still didn't have sprinkles we're gonna see his his eco timeline is gonna be way bigger yeah but I thought I could out-military him anyways. It's probably a poor plan. So, yeah, I mean, he's got a hell of a lot of farms. He was just making cam archers because he had no gold. And, uh, yeah, those things were shredding me. The other thing I could have done a better job of here was running the back line with a lot of Keshiks. Uh, he had a lot of villagers just chilling. Should have been running the back line, but... Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.